Hello, it's David here from Kranikan.com and today I wanted to make a quick video just to show you how to use the Fruity Slicer in FL Studio 20 in 2022. So what you would typically do, typically do in the old days would be to go to Add, and then you'll click on Fruity Slicer, and this is all it's giving us, Channel Sampler down here. What you do instead is go to your folder where you have your sample, drag it from your folder to your Fruity Slice window, to your um, sampler rather, uh, and then you cl left click on that, right click on the waveform, select open a new Fruity Slicer channel, and there we go, that's that. Just like that. As you see, I've already done it before, but let's just, I should just show you how it sounds now. You that, that percussion sound is this sound here. Um, the good thing about using a Fruity Slicer channel is that it doesn't matter what, what tempo you've got, you can chop it and you can change it around and you can make it fit. So thank you for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, don't forget to hit the bell. If you hit the bell, you'll be notified of all new videos as and when they are published. Also, please don't forget to grab your free copy of the complete guide to music marketing updated to 2022. That is in the video description and there's some more goodies in there as well. Check them out and have a fantastic day. Thank you.